maybe what we're looking at, and again, it's very early to say, is is a kind of limited military action which will try to coerce uh, thousands of Armenians to flee to Armenia, um, and and then President Aliyev can achieve his objective of taking over Karabakh um, with not so much bloodshed. But it's very early to tell that Russia is distracted in Ukraine, um, that the um, the peacekeeping force in Karabakh has lost probably its best officers to the war in Ukraine. So capacity has, has certainly gone down and diplomatic capacity is also limited um, because a, a country like Azerbaijan sees that Russia is weaker because of Ukraine. But I think uh, Azerbaijan has generally, you know, played its cards quite cleverly. It has the support of Turkey. Um, it's certainly done these deals with the European Commission, and it's kept f fairly good relations with Russia, all of, all of which, I guess, gives um, President Aliyev the confidence um, to to try to do what he wants to do in, in, in Karabakh, I guess. But of course, you know, you start a conflict and you never know how it will end. So maybe there have been miscal miscalculations here. I think that this breakdown in Armenia-Russian relations is a factor here. I think it encourages Azerbaijan to be bolder and it makes the Russians more ambiguous and less um, less willing to, to intervene. And, you know, it's quite possible indeed that, that the Russians want to use a crisis to, to, to instigate regime change in Armenia, but whether they will succeed, it, it, it's a bit hard to say.